All right, so we've been driving for well over an hour and we're in the middle of, well, someplace in Arizona. Let's see if I can actually show this. Yeah, so that's, that's what the site has been for the last, I don't know, hour. And uh, it's, just, it's very straight. It's, um, yeah. And the road is, well, so well maintained. It, it, it literally feels like I'm in Beirut. So we have uh, another 187 miles to duck on a rock. And uh, yeah, can't wait for that. So this is just a little, up, a little uh, update on the trip. So we're in Kingman, Arizona. What, what year was it established? 1882. In 1882. And literally, we found a traffic jam in the middle of nowhere. There's a traffic jam. And this is absolutely and utterly amazing that there's just a traffic jam in the middle of the desert in a town that has a 35 mile power speed limit at the bottom of 6% grade. I'm, I'm flabbergasted by this. Utterly flabbergasted. Now we're heading toward Flagstaff. Come on, car. Outrun the truck, car. Yay. There was much rejoicing. Okay, so we're back on a highway. Woo! Yeah. Well, it's pretty. Uh, and desolate, yes. All right. You're not going to believe this. I'm on the road to the Grand Canyon. It's literally a two-lane road. Nothing around it for miles. And yet here I am at a construction site having to stop. This is actually hilarious. Like, wow. There's literally nothing. See, there's nothing anywhere around here, nothing, except for this guy in front of us with his stop sign as we head to the Grand Canyon and see Duck on a Rock. Can't wait for Duck on a Rock. But yeah, we're in a construction, construction zone. in the middle of nowhere. Idiots, these high beams on. So yeah, that was a, that was a construction zone um, in the middle of nowhere. But, oh well. And the home stretch, we have eight and a half miles to Duck on a Rock. Duck on a Rock. And I wish I could quickly show this that all the gauges are going on and off now in the car. Since something has been happening. Good afternoon. <laughs> no. I think it's the only one I'm gonna see today or this week. <laughs> No, I don't know about this year, but I'm driving to Florida, so I don't know if I'm going to pass anything anymore. 
Yeah, I don't like right past Dallas and stuff. I don't think there's much. Uh, just north of Tampa. Are you kidding? I live, I live in Atlanta Lakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I guess we have about 2,000 miles left. <laughs> cool, thank you. Here, you hold on to that. Yes, oh, I've been enjoying it. Out in, we've been out in Vegas for like the last over a week and a half, so yeah. Well, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, that's weird when you run into somebody from Florida and, and they work and they work at the park. Now we're we're ent we have paid to go into we paid the thirty five dollars to go into the park and we have thirteen minutes, so I'll cut back on when we get closer. to the duck on a rock. The canyon is off to that side over there behind all those trees. There's a lot of trees here. It's also 13 degrees cooler than it was when we were coming over the mountain, when we were coming through uh, the uh, western Arizona where it was 105, now it's 94, 93, 94. God. Oh my God, it is a duck on a rock. So we've made our uh, first stop with the uh, E36, which is not wor well, worse for wear. It really hated the mountains a lot. Um, so, but you gotta see this. That is a duck on a rock. On average, 17 to 22 nautical right. miles an hour. That's flying. 20 to 30 that. foot swell through some of the rapids. And that is the Grand Canyon. Just absolutely magnificent. Wow. I mean, it's just, it's awe-inspiring how big this thing is. That's a long way down, too. Wow. So, yeah, once again, duck on a rock. Duck! On a rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, after they had all this, uh, um, e, this happened, E36. One of the guys said, You guys are nuts. We can pull the heck out of here. They wow. said, Okay, good luck. And those four were never seen again because where do you start? It's just something of note getting back on uh, 40. That is the biggest wildfire I've ever seen in my entire life. That is, it actually is making weather. It, it made clouds, it's so big. Unbelievable. Just unreal how, how big that is. Oh, Cinquecento XL. Look at that, 75 speed limit. This is, this is the way it should be. Wow, that is some, that is some wildfire. We're gonna just take this drive through the smoke, it's gonna be great. All right, we'll update in a little bit. This has been something fun that happens. The gauges do random things like that, where the gas gauge will go beyond full and then like that, and then it will go to empty and then it'll stop working and then it'll come back. It's been really a fun time. This is one of the, the neat things that's happening with this car. That and the whole dash sometimes just lights up like a Christmas tree. It's good.
Yeah. Everything else is going great, though. So as we're like finishing up in Arizona, I, I, this stuff's just amazing. These giant, this is like Roadrunner Wile E. Coyote stuff over there. I, I mean, massive cliffs, just wow. And we're still probably at about 5,000 feet. Here goes one of those tractor trailers. Swift, these guys are nuts. Uh, they must have some deadline. So, look at this though, just, oh yeah. It's like the fourth time he's done that to me today. There's a horse, oh, I just saw a horse. can't turn the camera to me because the sun is like on the side of my face so it'd be blinding everybody but yeah this is uh let's see wow you know, like the middle of Navajo country uh, there's still McDonald's out here go figure wow look at that though I mean just honestly look at that look, look how beautiful that is absolutely utterly amazing Good stuff. Road, road's kind of crap, but the scenery's nice every once in a while. So yeah, still getting here 30 miles to the gallon, and uh, the temperature is 100 degrees at six o'clock at night. I, I I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Yeah. So just wanted to. Everybody, this beautiful perspective from out here. This wow, this, wow, these giant cliffs. And the film can't do this stuff justice. You can hear the wind noise in the car. Yep, just like a Bronco. No road noise. Beautiful. Get a big clear shot of this. Oh, that looked down. Oh. I'm waiting to see some Acme boxes or something laying on the side of the road. Because, <laughs> I mean, why? Wow, this is. Ooh, he's Jake breaking. I heard that Jake break. Lupton! Yeah, Lupton. Lupton truck, truck stop. Cafe and laundry. Not in the same room. Look at look how pretty that is. Wow. Just amazing. Swift driver. Ugh, a little lining. All right, so day one, 
has gone uh, into the books and um, it was not bad we had a very good drive uh, nothing really weird happened uh, except the tumbleweed almost attacking me during my live and that that's that was very great it's very late right now we we drove for 10 hours I drove for 10 hours <laughs> so yeah so the car is here yeah no worse for wear yeah, I'm gonna have to clean the uh, windshield I got enough dead bugs to you know, fill a fill an entire uh, display but still without that so so yeah so this is our uh, so this is our end of our day one and uh, averaging 25 a little over 25 miles to the gallon so uh, yep yeah and I, just, I don't even think it's tuned properly right because this sucker was suffering at above 5,000 feet this engine was suffering hard it had no power at all uh, it was it was pretty weak below four grand so they get 25 and it's not perfectly tuned yeah we're, we're, we're good we're good and the Yokohama tires are running great man it's just been it's been awesome so uh, yeah we'll go on with tomorrow and always remember you know you always forget this but always remember you know like subscribe comment all that stuff and then if you have a classic car or something kind of cool and fun like this take it out you make someone's day including your own <laughs>